Hello and welcome to The Other Side. I'm Amon Filial. And I'm Linda Page. This week we'll take a look at what events SGI is coming up as well as what's happening here at Gulf Coast State College. We'll also see what's going on in the community and what's new with sports. You know about Black Friday, but have you heard about Blacker Saturday? The Other Side's Taylor Smith tells us about the event that's about giving to those who don't have. Taylor? Amon, on the day following the well-known shopping extravaganza, Harley-Davidson of Panama City Beach will be hosting the Blacker Saturday Cruise-In. Blacker Saturday is Harley-Davidson's answer to what's going on right after Thanksgiving. Basically, there's Black Friday. Well, this is Blacker Saturday. All day long, you can stop by and donate toys that will go towards Project 25, the Bay County Sheriff's Office Children's Charity. We had a huge turnout all day long, and this happens all day. It's from 9 till 5 uh, that Saturday. People just come in and bring gifts. We have press releases out, and we've just tried to infiltrate the community as much as we could about this event going on so that everybody knows, you know, bring your toys in, Blacker Saturday, the 29th. Um, we, we had several hundred probably that came through last year, and we're anticipating the same thing again. It's just going to be a whole afternoon of fun things going on from we've got a classic car show with the Panama City Cruisers going on in the afternoon, kind of taking place in the whole parking lot out there. We're going to have the, um, the group from World Gym uh, is going to come. It's a, a kids group that does cheering competitions out of state, so they're raising money for their organization. They're going to be cooking up barbecue, uh, baked goods, have a whole smattering of good food to sell. We'll have our Harley Girl Elves registering people all day to win different Harley prizes. So everybody is encouraged to bring one new unwrapped toy. We're going to have big bins they can put it in, and that too will help people register for a gift. Kids, of course, love stuffed animals. Um, little girls like Barbie dolls, uh, games. Games are fun, things like Scrabble and puzzles. Um, books are great, anything like that. Harley is all about helping organizations in the community, especially children at this time of year. So the fact that we get to help a big group of kids go to their cheering competition in Texas, and we get to help children all around Bay County, um, that is huge. Um, this is like a giving season, and the fact that we have some fun stuff going on and a great facility to put on an event like this makes it even more fun. For more information on this event, you can visit pcbharley.com. Thanks, Taylor. Remember to grab an extra toy for those less fortunate while doing your Black Friday shopping. Donations will be accepted throughout the entire event. Do you have a night class? If so, then come a little early and stop by the cafeteria for coffee and donuts. The Student Government Association will be serving all students with a curtain A00 student ID this sweet treat to reward them for their hard work this semester. This event will run from 4.45 to 6 p.m. For more information on this event, send SGA an email at sga.gcsc at gmail.com. You have a voice, so why not use it? The Student Government Association of Gulf Coast State College is looking for the opinions and ideas of the student body. Stop by the third floor boardroom in Student Union West at 1245 for the SGA board meeting. This meeting is a great way to voice your concerns as well as inform you of what all of the student organizations are up to and how to get involved. For more information on the event and others, email sga at sga.gcsc at gmail.com. We'll have more news for you coming up. Don't go away. I want smaller classes, bigger discussions, and personal attention from my professors. Knowing that they care is really important to me. I want to make sure Brian knows that I'm in his corner. I really care about my students. That's why I come to work every day. My professors believe in me, and I know I'll do just fine when I transfer to a university. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. Hello, my name is Samantha Rodia, and I am the Secretary of Student Government here at Gulf Coast State College. As you know, the month of February is Black History Month. To honor the famous African-American individuals of history, SGA will be sponsoring a trip to Alabama on February 19th through the 21st. We will be visiting several historical museums and landmarks. Some examples include the Rosa Parks Museum, the Edmund Pettus Bridge, and the Tuskegee Airmen Museum and University. Sign up ends January 16th with a $50 deposit. $176 must be paid in full by February 6th. Payment includes transportation, hotel, and all tours. Some meals are included. This trip is open to all students taking at least six credit hours in the spring semester. 
who have at least a 2.0 GPA. For more information, contact Katrina Porter at kporter at gulfcoast.edu. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Gulf Coast State College is the right place for you. Let us help you fulfill your personal potential. Gulf Coast State College, your community, your college. Welcome back to the other side. Students here at Gulf Coast State College work hard every semester in order to better themselves. In order to honor their work, Gulf Coast shows their gratitude. The other side's Caleb Erickski has more. That's right, Linda. One of the awards that Gulf Coast offers is the Flate Award. I spoke to Aubrey Hansen, who has been nominated to receive this award, and this is what she told me. Flate is the Florida Advanced Technological Education um, it's a consortium of colleges, state colleges and community colleges across the state of Florida um, that we kind of band together so that we have common curriculum and common goals for our students. And it encompasses all the way from high school through college education. Um, I was nominated by one of my coworkers, Nacy Doler, who works on the first floor. Um, well, I'm sure it will help me personally with my gaining tenure and promotion in a couple of years, but um, mostly it's, uh, it's good for our program because it brings a lot of focus on the program. I mean, since we did the newspaper article for the Herald, I've been getting a lot of calls about people who are interested in our program, so um, it, it put a spotlight on the program and also on the importance of manufacturing education. Um, well, of course, Nacy because she nominated me, but also um, Antonio Odessi, who's been my mentor uh, faculty since I came here, and he's the one who got me involved with Flate to begin with, and then my boss, uh, Melanie Boyd, who's been very supportive of all the efforts we've gone through to uh, change our programs and offer new degrees all the time. Faculty like Aubrey Hansen are being honored all the time. Thanks, Caleb. Remember, keep working hard because you never know what can come because of it. Did you know that you can take classes here at Gulf Coast State College without being a full-time student? Gulf Coast offers Corporate College, a program offering classes that members of the community can enroll in short term. One of these classes is photography for beginners and teens. This course is divided into th three two-hour sessions with, which offer a different course in the basics of digital photography. This is a fun and fast-paced class for maximizing the capabilities of your camera. The course covers basic camera operations, the best settings for different shots, and the lighting required to obtain a good shot. A camera is required to participate in this course. For more information, you may contact Jim Barr at 850-873-3513 or email him at jimbarr at golfcoast.edu. If you're interested in art, then you should take acrylic painting and texture. This course is divided into three sessions which demonstrate varied, various techniques and encourage individual creativity. Classes will be on Wednesdays beginning on December 3rd and will continue until December 17th. Topics in this course that are covered are color, mixing, blending, and uses of different mediums. For a supply list for this course and for more information, contact Jennifer Bonaventura at Jennifer at bonavistudio.com or give her a call at 319-1209. Are you interested in drawing? If so, sign up for Drawing and Essay approaches. Approach to Figures. This course will approach the human form in teaching the basics of drawing. The course will teach you how to use shapes and lines to create an image of what you see. The guidelines for proportion and reference will be provided. A set of drawing pencils, net it, and white erasers and drawing paper or a sketchbook is required for this class. For more information, contact Jennifer Bonavera by email at jennifer at bonavistudio.com or give her a call at 319-1209. 
More news and sports are coming up in a few minutes. We'll be right back. I want a job where my skills make a difference. I discovered plenty of career options at Gulf Coast State College. Candace is being trained by medical professionals, and she's definitely going to be prepared. We offer more than 150 programs. Some take less than a year to complete. My dream is to work with a cardiac team. I want my patients to feel they're in capable hands. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. These are the upcoming events for November 24th through the 30th here at Gulf Coast State College. Coffee and donuts will be served Monday and Tuesday from 4.30 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. The bi-weekly SGA boating meeting will be on Tuesday in the Student Union West 3rd Floor Boardroom at 12.45. Remember, the campus will be closed November 26th through the 28th in honor of Thanksgiving, and come out Friday and Saturday at 4 to support your peers in the men's basketball games. That's what's new for November 24th through the 30th. Stay tuned for more upcoming events and have a happy Thanksgiving. Gulf Coast State College is the right place for you. Let us help you fulfill your personal potential. Gulf Coast State College, your community, your college. Welcome back. Are you trying to find something to do this week? Let's take a look at what's going on in the community. Spend your Thanksgiving Day Jimmy Buffett style. Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville will be hosting its sixth annual Thanksgiving at Margaritaville on November 27th from 11 to close at their Panama City Beach location. Today's menu will feature turkey, Yukon gold mashed potatoes with gravy, traditional bread stuffing, honey garlic green beans, and cranberry sauce. Each meal is also served with a slice of pumpkin pie to satisfy your sweet tooth. Adults can enjoy this fantastic dinner just for $18.95 and children's 12 years old and younger for only $9.95. The regular full menu will be available in addition to this meal. For more information, visit facebook.com slash margaritaville Panama City Beach or call 850-235-7870. Another restaurant is joining the fun and invites you to spend Thanksgiving with them as well. Sharky's Beachfront Restaurant and Tiki Bar is presenting a Thanksgiving buffet open to public, open to the public. This hearty Thanksgiving buffet features the traditional dishes with a Sharky coastal twist. The feast includes items such as fresh crab legs, crab cakes, prime rib, and baked or fried turkey. The full menu will also be available to all guests. Visit Sharky's online at Sharky's dot sharkysbeach.com for more information and to view the full menu. Winter is here and the festi uh, festivities have begun. Panama City is hosting the fourth annual Winterfest on Saturday, November 29th from 4 to 7 p.m. at downtown Panama City Marina. The festivities include crafts, food, and chili cook-off between the downtown restaurants. There will also be activities for the kids and a live band. You are encouraged to bring your lawn chairs and blankets to watch college football on a 20-foot inflatable screen and to view the parade. Winterfest will be the best viewing location for the boat parade of lights, which will pass around the Panama City Marina at 540. For more information, call the Panama City Downtown Improvement Board at 850-785-2554. If you love to go fishing, then catch this. It's a day of license-free fishing. Grab your fishing rods on November 20th, 9th and take advantage of a day where those of you who don't yet have a fishing license can catch your after Thanksgiving Day meal. This is a great opportunity for parents to take youth fishing or adventure seekers to introduce a friend to the experience. This is the last opportunity you will have to fish without a license for 2014 year. The date for license-free fishing, the date for license-free saltwater fishing are scheduled for the first Saturday and Sunday in June the first Saturday in September, and the following Saturday following Thanksgiving for 2015. Christmas is approaching fast and it's cold outside, but local business sales are hot, hot, hot. If you're looking to get quality gifts for a low cost, then come out to the Visual Arts Center of Northwest Florida for the Art Under $100 Holiday Art Sale. 
The sale will be Saturday, November 29th from 3 to 8 p.m. and will feature creative gifts from local artists, music, wine, and orders. All artwork will be $100 or less. For more information, visit vacnwf.org or call 850-769-4451. In the past, this event has been very successful, and now it's here again. On November 13th, Harley Davidson of Panama City Beach will host the 12th annual Cops and Kids Toy Run. Registration will be from 9 to 11 a.m. with coffee and pastries provided. This event provides support to Panama City Beach police charities. For more details, you can visit Harley Davidson online at pcbharley.com or you can call 333 Zero, zero, five, five. Sports is up next. We'll be right back. These are the upcoming events for November 24th through the 30th here at Gulf Coast State College. Coffee and donuts will be served Monday and Tuesday from 4.30 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. The bi-weekly SGA voting meeting will be on Tuesday in the Student Union West 3rd floor boardroom at 12.45. Remember, the campus will be closed November 26th through the 28th in honor of Thanksgiving, and come out Friday and Saturday at 4 to support your peers in the men's basketball games. That's what's new for November 24th through the 30th. Stay tuned for more upcoming events, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Hello, my name is Samantha Rodia, and I am the Secretary of Student Government here at Gulf Coast State College. As you know, the month of February is Black History Month. To honor the famous African-American individuals of history, SGA will be sponsoring a trip to Alabama on February 19th through the 21st. We will be visiting several historical museums and landmarks. Some examples include the Rosa Parks Museum, the Edmund Pettus Bridge, and the Tuskegee Airmen Museum and University. Sign up ends January 16th with a $50 deposit. $176 must be paid in full by February 6th. Payment includes transportation, hotel, and all tours. Some meals are included. This trip is open to all students taking at least six credit hours in the spring semester who have at least a 2.0 GPA. For more information, contact Katrina Porter at kporter at gulfcoast.edu. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Gulf Coast State College is the right place for you. Let us help you fulfill your personal potential. Gulf Coast State College, your community, your college. Welcome back to the other side. We'll start off with women's basketball here at Gulf Coast State College. The Lady Commodore basketball team is going strong thanks to the help of head coach Mary Scoville. The Lady Doors are continuing their winning streak of five after playing Georgia Perimeter College. They won with a score of 85 to 53. They will continue their season in Decatur, Georgia by playing Georgia, Central Te Georgia Tech on Friday and Georgia Highlands on Saturday. The men's basketball team will continue their season 3-2 after a win against Enterprise Ozark State, the final score of 97-56. The guys will continue on their season with their match against Walter State on Friday and Wallace State Hensville on Saturday. Both games will be held here at Gulf Coast State College. For more information on Gulf Coast sports, please visit gcathletics.com. There you will find full season schedules for all Gulf Coast State College sports teams. In college football news, Florida State is still holding the number three in the country even after an impressive win against Miami. FSU looks ahead to their rivalry match against the University of Florida. The game is currently undetermined but will be held at Dope Campbell Stadium. This game will determine the seeding FSU gets going into the playoffs. This week's Behind the Ball feature features Joanne Booker. Let's take a closer look at this week's basketball spotlight.
Hey, I'm Joanne Booker. I'm a Ford. I was born and raised in Panama City Beach, Florida, and I went to Arnold High School. And the best part of playing basketball is the crowd and all the energy they bring and just that feeling you get when you walk into the floor and then everyone's going crazy and I just I like I love the feeling of the crowd and all the fans and all the support system and everything. Cause it's close to home and I love my family. <laughs> and I just I couldn't leave yet. <laughs> I played four sports in high school. I led it in all three sports, in all four sports, and um, played volleyball, softball, basketball, and I did track also. So it's always been, my sisters actually played at Gulf Coast also. They played softball, they were twins. They played here, and I just kind of followed in their footsteps. I like the Miami Heat. They're my favorite team because of Dwayne Wade. I've always had a crush on him, so he's my favorite player. He's really fast. <laughs> um, I work for my dad. He has a company called TLC Providers. We take care of people with mental disabilities. And I also play softball <laughs> and um, sleep. <laughs> Um, my dream job is, I guess, working in the medical field, being nursing, you know, because the company my dad has, I like to take care of people and then to stay in the healthcare business. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. And my mom and my dad are my heroes, because they always got my back and they always support me. A career sooner rather than later. I was looking for a perfect fit and I found it at Gulf Coast State College. Students like Stephanie are already getting jobs. Our workforce graduates are in high demand and we're committed to helping them succeed. I am excited about my future. I can't wait to have my own restaurant and that's why I chose Gulf Coast. These are the upcoming events for November 24th through the 30th here at Gulf Coast State College. Coffee and donuts will be served Monday and Tuesday from 4.30 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. The bi-weekly SGA voting meeting will be on Tuesday in the Student Union West 3rd Floor Boardroom at 12.45. Remember, the campus will be closed November 26th through the 28th in honor of Thanksgiving, and come out Friday and Saturday at 4 to support your peers in the men's basketball games. That's what's new for November 24th through the 30th. Stay tuned for more upcoming events and have a happy Thanksgiving. Gulf Coast State College is the right place for you. Let us help you fulfill your personal potential. Gulf Coast State College, your community, your college. Thanks for joining us here on the other side. That's all we have for you this week. Until next time, I'm Amon Filial. And I'm Linda Page, and we'll see you on, on the, the other side. side. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Hello, my name is Samantha Rodia, and I am the Secretary of Student Government here at Gulf Coast State College. As you know, the month of February is Black History Month. To honor the famous African-American individuals of history, SGA will be sponsoring a trip to Alabama on February 19th through the 21st. We will be visiting several historical museums and landmarks. Some examples include the Rosa Parks Museum, the Edmund Pettus Bridge, and the Tuskegee Airmen Museum and University. Sign up ends January 16th with a $50 deposit. $176 must be paid in full by February 6th. Payment includes transportation, hotel, and all tours. Some meals are included. This trip is open to all students taking at least six credit hours in the spring semester who have at least a 2.0 GPA. For more information, contact Katrina Porter at kporter at gulfcoast.edu. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.
These are the upcoming events for November 24th through the 30th here at Gulf Coast State College. Coffee and donuts will be served Monday and Tuesday from 4.30 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. The bi-weekly SGA voting meeting will be on Tuesday in the Student Union West 3rd Floor Boardroom at 12.45. Remember, the campus will be closed November 26th through the 28th in honor of Thanksgiving, and come out Friday and Saturday at 4 to support your peers in the men's basketball games. That's what's new for November 24th through the 30th. Stay tuned for more upcoming events, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Gulf Coast State College is the right place for you. Let us help you fulfill your personal potential. Gulf Coast State College, your community, your college. I want to be challenged. I'm looking for more than just classroom lectures. Daniel's getting the chance to work on real projects for real companies. I never teach the same class twice. Technology is always changing, and so are we. I have lots of ideas, and I'm ready to make a difference in the world. That's why I chose Gulf Coast.